It's like having the aura of Borealis that you see in the sky in the palm of your hands. And like you're producing light and all these blues and greens and yellows and reds. It produces life, it takes life. My name is Gareth Hunt and I'm a professional chef. I'm 23 years old and I work at Corumban Boat Shed as a sous chef. I've always had a love of cooking. I started cooking at 14 to help make money for my family as my mum was struck with cancer multiple times and the treatment started to become more and more expensive. My dad by himself couldn't support two kids. So at a young age, I saw the opportunity to get some money and I started to work for myself so I could provide for myself. So there was one less thing that he didn't have to worry about. Years went by, I started cooking less of what I wanted to do and more of what other people wanted to do. And I would start going there, cook four star meals, five star meals for people. And then I'd go home and I would eat reheatable meals or microwavable meals for myself. And I just slowly watched all my passion of it die. I've always been fascinated by fire. There's a sense of peacefulness when you get something that is meant to be completely uncontrollable work the way you want it to do. Behave the way you want it to do it, whether you want the flame to do these certain things to the food in a certain way, instead of just going everywhere, or you want the flame that you're handling out while you fire 12 to not just explode everywhere, to move and only catch onto the things you want it to catch on. Though I had like a love of fire from a young age, fire twirling has probably been one of the most challenging things I've done next to being a chef with just the fear of messing up, the fear of being hurt, or the fear of not being able to do it right. But once you start overcoming that, that fear and making deliberate movements, it all starts coming together, it all starts flowing, and it just seems to all work out. I didn't venture out into Burley Heads until early into my 20s. Kind of place, a very modern, like new age kind of modern. There's lots of places to shop, lots of places to eat, lots of places to just go inside and do things and see stuff on the street and walk around. During the day, the beaches are flocked with all tourists, locals, everyone enjoying the sunshine of the Australian beaches. And then people migrate onto the hill once the sun starts to set and you watch the sunset. And as the last rays are just coming through this light, tribal drums start. The drums become in time with the crashing of the waves that produce a bass beat in the background. And you notice right near the beach, like flickers of embers burning off and like sparks. and just all these different lights that you have no idea what they are down on the beach. And by the time you go to investigate, there's just all this noise and activity of people just exploding with expression. It's like the whole earth itself is joining into this celebration of nature, of just life. But it's sad the celebration is gone. The mayor and the local council banned fire twirling in the parks of Burley. And it feels like Burley's kind of like losing something. I lost my passion once with chefing 
and I wasn't going to lose it again with fire twirling. I'll still go down to the beach, still fly as well. They can put up as many signs as they want, but they can never extinguish our flame. <laughs> 